All right, hey guys, welcome back. So today we are gonna be talking about skin types. Um, if you guys did not see my last video, I will link it down below because this is a whole series. So you guys really should start off with the first one if you have not seen this if you have not seen that video already before you watch this one. But anyway, today we are gonna be talking about skin types in my skin series video for good skin. So guys, this series is basically just to help you all get good skin for school and just life in general. So let's get into it. So there are four main skin types, oily, normal, combination, and dry. Let me just go down the skin types. First, we have normal. Normal skin is not oily or dry, it's just normal. Pore size is not very visible, you can't really see the pores that much, um, and you are not super acne prone. The second skin type is dry skin, and dry skin is someone who is lacking oil. Um, there's a difference between dehydrated skin and dry skin, I'm gonna get into that later, but dry skin is lacking in oil. Pore size is generally small as well, um, you are generally not acne prone if you have dry skin, and you also tend to not like mattifying foundations if you are familiar with your skin type. The third skin type is oily skin, and that is someone who has a large pore size and has over oil production. And this can be due to a number of factors, but generally it has to do with hormones, your diet, or just dehydration, and I'll get into that again in a second. The final skin type, and this is probably the most common, is combination skin. And this is where you have areas of dry skin and oily skin, or combinations of all three on your face. I have normal dehydrated skin. So the way I know that is pore size. Um, I was taught in school that your skin type is determined by your pore size, and then just the overall condition of your skin when you look at it under a magnified lamp. Let me zoom in really close for you guys. So as you can see, like along this area and on my nose, so as you can see along this area on my nose and over here, and then just in my forehead, my pores are basically not there. They're like non-existent. So with this small of a pore size, I have normal skin, and someone who has larger pores would have oily skin. Now, there's always exceptions to everything, depending on your lifestyle and everything like that, so don't just think, oh, my pores are big, so that means I have oily skin, I have to use all mattifying products, or my pores are small, that means I have to use all like products specifically for dry skin. You guys really need to also think about your lifestyle and whatnot, um, I, for the longest time, thought that I was classified as oily skin, but it, it's so funny because now that I've gone through school and we're not looking back, it's such, such a counterintuitive thing. Just because you are producing oil doesn't mean you have oily skin. There's a reason you're producing oil, um, and a lot of the time it has to do with internal factors and just what you're putting on your skin in general. 80% of my clients are people that I've talked to who claim they have oily skin or tell me, Oh, I have the oily skin, I'm an oily skin type. When I look at their pores, they're either not large or they're like mine and non-existent. So then I will look at their skin under the lamp, and when you pull the skin up very slightly under a magnifying lamp, you can see very tiny, tiny lines, and that indicates dehydration. Dehydration is a lack of water, not lack of oil. So if you are lacking water and you have normal skin, your skin will produce more oil to keep itself hydrated. Now, this is a little bit different than people with dry skin. People with dry skin are also lacking oil, but they are just lacking oil production altogether. So their skin is not producing more oil to compensate for the dryness, and those types of skin types need a lot of oils and very emollient and thick products to keep their skin hydrated. People who have normal dehydrated skin, like myself and many of my clients who think they have oily skin, we're just lacking hydration in our skin, so our skin is going to produce more oil to keep itself hydrated, and that excess oil production can get mixed with bacteria and cause acne, thus leading you to think that you have oily skin. In addition, people who think they have oily skin often use very mattifying foundations, then they'll set it or bake it, and then they'll use like mattifying setting sprays and blot and bake throughout the day. All you're doing is drying out your skin even more, and your skin's just gonna produce more oil to compensate. 
I recommend using a very, very thick and very hydrating moisturizer or primer underneath your powders and setting them lightly. You don't need to bake. If you're getting shiny throughout the day, take a blotting pa paper and like just done. You don't need to just pile on more product and keep yourself super matte because it's just going to dry out your skin and your skin just going to keep producing more oil. It's kind of like a never ending cycle where it fixes it for the time being, but then tomorrow you're still oily. So try to combat it at the source. And that leads into taking care of your skin. So if you are like me and you have normal dehydrated skin and you think you have oily skin, or even if you have oily skin, sometimes oil is going to be the solution. As weird and as silly as it sounds, a lot of the time that may be the solution that you need. Again, as I said, people with enlarged pores who have who actually do have oily skin, there could be a whole other reason why your skin is overproducing oil, but um, when you have larger pores, they're more prone to clog and whatnot, so you don't want to be using heavy foundations and whatnot and mattifying products that could clog your skin, even though that's counterintuitive and you think you need those to combat it. A lot of the time, a very nice moisturizer or even a beauty oil will keep your skin hydrated and then it won't need to produce its own oils and just get everything clogged and lit. So for oily skin, I really don't recommend mattifying products like bases and like things that will clog your pores. I recommend just like blotting throughout the day and whatnot and you know, whatever. And then after a while, once your skin is not being dried out by all these mattifying products and it's producing its own oils at a normal level, you should see your excess oil production go down a little bit and you won't be as overly oily. One thing though that I must point out is hydrated skin is much less likely to wrinkle. So those of you who are dealing with acne and have oily skin, it's actually a good thing your skin is gonna stay young longer. Combination skin is a obviously a combination of both of those things where you have dry patches generally around the cheek area or nose area, and then you could be oily around your forehead um, and drier around the temples and whatnot. So for that type of skin type, you do sometimes need to have more than one product to cater to both of those needs. You may want a very emollient thick moisturizer on the perimeter of your face or where you get drier, and then a slightly lighter moisturizer that's not as thick on the areas where you are oily. And you may want to use something that's a little bit lighter on the areas where you get oily, but again, even people who get oily, sometimes it's because your skin is just dry. And then on the flip side, there are people who literally just overproduce oil. Everyone is different, and this could be a factor of your diet, your environment, anything like that, genetics, everyone's different. So for people who actually truly are oily and you you actually like are overproducing oil and it's not because your skin is dehydrated, that unfortunately you really just need to maintain cleaning your skin, making sure the excess oil is removed at the end of the day, and that you're not using products that are going to combine with the oil and clog your pores. So don't use super heavy foundations, try to stick more to powders and whatnot because that's going to keep your skin less oily anyway. And yeah. So guys, that basically concludes this video about skin types. I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope you were able to identify your skin type. Look in the mirror, look at your pores. You may be wrong about what you thought your skin type was. It could be different. And yeah, so if you find that your skincare routine may not be working for you, it may be because you're not using the right products. If you have very oily skin, and you're using something mattifying, and you're still getting oily, it may be because you need something that's actually more hydrating and not as mattifying. If you are someone who has dry skin and you are experiencing dryness still, but you're using nice foundation and whatnot, you may want to switch to a BB cream that has more hydrating ingredients in it and not a foundation that's so heavy and pigment-based and drying. So guys, as with everything, find what works for you, but do follow these guidelines as just a general rule. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment bar down below. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up so you can stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be more in-depth about cleansing and exfoliating. And I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite products for each of those. Guys, until next time, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.